Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft, and in this video I'm going to show you how to weld text using your scan and cut machine. So you start by clicking on the pattern option, and we want the fonts here. Okay, and I'm going to choose this font. Okay, so when it comes to welding text you know, on your scan and cut, you can't actually type the whole word in. Because once you type the whole word in, that's it, it's set. You can't sort of weld the text after it's done. So you have to type in each letter individually. So I'm going to start by typing my word. So I'm going to use the word Ben. So I'm going to start with a B. Go OK. And set. And there's the B on the screen there. So to get the next letter on, I click on Add. Back to my fonts. Select the font again, and this time I want an E, but I want it lowercase, so I'm going to tap on this option. And select E, and OK. Alright, set, and again, I need the N, so come back, add, font, and I want lowercase, N, and OK. Alright, so there's my word on the screen. Now, for starters, it's a little bit small, and I want to, to be able to... Um, see this clearly on the screen, so it's a bit hard to see. So I'm going to make it larger to start with. So I do that by coming up here, and I need to select all the letters first, because I can't, um, once I select all the letters, I can't make it larger unless I group it. So that's my goal here, I need to group this first. So I'll select all the letters, by selecting this option, and that's the Select All button, so they're all selected now. So I'll go OK, and then we need to group them. So this is the Group option. Alright, so it's grouped. So now that it's grouped, I can move all the letters around. They're all together now, and I can just move them anywhere I like. So I'll just pop it in the middle, and I want to change the size. So I'll come over to here, and we can increase the size now. Just tapping on that plus button. Okay, and we'll go OK. Now I'm going to ungroup it. So I'll just ungroup now, because I don't need to change the sizing anymore. Okay, so it's ungrouped, but everything's still selected. And while it's still selected, what you might want to do at this point is decide whether you want the letters at the top here. See how they're all at the top? I mean, in most cases, you probably want it flush to the bottom. So while they're all selected, I'm going to come into the alignment tool. So that's over here under the nudge. It's sort of, they're sort of hidden under these nudge tools. So I'll select that, come up to the alignment tool, and this is the one we want, so it's flush to the bottom. Okay, so they're all in alignment now. So I'll go OK and OK. Now we're ready to weld these letters. So what I'm going to do is just click here. What we want to do is move the, the letter E over and the letter N over. Now we could just click on that and drag it over, but what you're going to do is lose that alignment because it's very hard to drag anything without keeping it perfectly straight. So while it's still on the screen there, I'm going to come back into the nudge tools. I'm going to tap on the E and I'm going to use these little nudge tools to just move the E over that and we'll do the same with the N. You can hold it down too if it has to go quite far. Okay now you can actually come up here if you can't see it very well you can actually come up here and zoom in a little see how you can zoom in and see it a little better so you can see where everything's going to be and you can even zoom in even more by tapping there and you can see there you can see it really closely. Okay but that looks okay to me. I'll go okay and okay. So once it's sort of aligned like how I want it, now I need to select everything because we need to weld this now. So come back into the Select Tools, Select All, everything's selected, go OK, and now we want the Weld Tool. Tap on that there, it says OK to weld, OK, so it says it's irreversible. So at the, this point, you might want to look at it and see where, where the things are too close. In this case, the N is a little bit too close for me, so I'd probably cancel it and nudge that N back a little bit. But just for video's sake, I'll just leave it there. So as long as you're happy with it, just go OK. And OK, and you're done. So there it is there. So that's how you weld letters using your scanner cut. 